go. Saturday, 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 November 14th. The 2.4 Hours of Le Mullins, presented by Summit Racing Equipment. Retired Police Interceptor Crown Victoria is equipped with NOS and Nitto Tires, driven by your favorite YouTubers and professional drivers. Visit PleaseMcFarland.com to purchase your pay-per-view ticket now. We're talking live action at the Freedom Factory, Crown Mix smashing, two drivers per team, changing at the halfway point of the race. Hell yeah, brother! My voice is starting to hurt, I gotta go. Listen, the ideas that we came up with for this are amazing. And I want to say that we're sticking with the exact same pricing as our first pay-per-view. And that is the same numbers that you guys and I came up with on that first video I posted asking if you guys would even watch a pay-per-view. But listen, it gets better. We know you guys are out here buying car parts. So as you saw, this show is sponsored by Summit Racing Equipment. Well, listen to this. If you go on Summit Racing and buy your normal car parts, say your order is over 49 bucks. If you enter in Cletus in the promo code at checkout, you get a free ticket to lay mullets. There you go. Save 10 bucks. You don't even have to pay us the 10 bucks. You just go buy your car parts like normal. Just remember to use code Cletus when you check out a Summit Racing. But you can only do that up until the end of this month of October. But how cool is that, that Summit Racing would work with us so that we can do a promo code for you guys because you're already buying the car parts, so why not save you guys the money? We'll figure it out on our end. The guys at Summit have been so supportive of our project so far, and we're so thankful they're a part of this. The Freedom 500 was the best day of my life. I've spent my days trying to think, how can I do this with more of my friends? How can we make this better than the Freedom 500? How can we have a race that is just as awesome as the Freedom 500 but different and unique in its own way for later in the year, Freedom 500 for the spring. And so we came up with this race. This race is 20 Crown Vicks, and they're different. Not only do they have nitrous, we're leveling the playing field even more. They all have brand new Nitto tires. So hopefully we have a lot less flat tires this time. Not only that, we're talking 40 drivers, two drivers per team. I'm gonna run through the drivers list right now. And I know I'm gonna be Taking some heat for one of these drivers on this list, but I'm gonna get to him last. We got Mike Finnegan and David Freiberger from Roadkill. Matt from Demolition Ranch and Donut Operator as his co-driver. Next team, Vaughn Gittin Jr. and Chelsea Denofa. Adam LZ and Colette Davis. Next up, Taylor Ray and Kevin Smith from KSR. Then we got Ronnie Mack and Danny Duncan. Kyle from the Boosted Boys, Emilio from the Boosted Boys, Hurt from Hoonigan, Rob from Hoonigan, Blake Wilkie and Ronnie Renner, Derek from Vice Grip Garage and Kyle Loftus from 1320 Video, Leo and Doug from Side by Side Blog, Whistlin' Diesel and Bruce Wilson. Justin from Streetcar Takeover and Victor from Bradenton Motorsports Park. Brent and Jamie from the Boost Boys. J.H. Diesel and Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog. Our only female team in the race, Amelia Hartford and Alex Taylor. Then we got James Tall and Doug from Motion Raceworks. RG and Nick from 316 Speed. And last but not least, Jeremy from Faster Proms and Cooper. All right, guys, now it's time to talk about my team. And like I said, I know I'm going to take heat for this, but I'm prepared to do so. Listen. So I called Alex Bowman. Turns out Alex Bowman said he can come to the race and run it. So yeah, I got a freaking NASCAR driver on my team. And I know, I know it sounds unfair, but listen, I promise you Alex Bowman has not been in a Crown Vic on a three-ace oval track probably ever in his life. And as much as this race definitely requires skill, it's more of a battle of vehicles than it is a battle of skill. So yes, the plan right now is that Bowman is gonna be on my team. And I think that's amazing because not only does it validate what we're doing, but it's awesome because Alex is definitely an incredible driver, but all the cars will be dead even. Chosen at random. So Bowman and I are giving the same shot as everyone else. Don't be mad at me that I just so happen to be friends with a Cup Series driver and he wants to come. The most amazing part about all of this is the combined followers, and this is a rough number I rounded down, is over 56 million people. It is insane. That is an astronomical number. So we definitely have to make this show amazing for you guys. I'll tell you the production value is gonna cost 
at least two times what we invested into the Freedom 500. Like always guys, I wanna give you a shot at maybe changing up the race. I have not locked in the format 100%. Although this is called the 2.4 hours of Le Mullets, my plan is to have an hour and a half long race. Basically, the way I think it should work is an hour and a half timer starts from the green flag. When that timer expires, that is the last lap. We do a driver change at 45 minutes into the race. The way that works is we red flag the drivers right at 45 minutes. They pull up on the south side of the track, the far side from the start finish line. The rest of the drivers run out onto the track, switch cars, give them about five minutes, and then send them back into it. This gives time for sabotaging other cars, kicking mirrors off, maybe fighting a driver that you were in a couple hot laps with. And then we finish off those 45 minutes. And like I said, when that time expires, we wave the flag indicating the last lap of the race, then check your flag and we'll see who our victors are. There's definitely other ideas like having pedals on one side, steering on the other, but there's a lot more liability in having two guys in one car that's on the track versus one guy. So we're sticking with one guy per car. All right guys, before we wrap up, I also wanted to mention that you guys are probably wondering, can people come spectate this race? And I know you're gonna be mad at me because the answer is no, but listen, one week from this event, we are hosting an event, Cleavesy Cars, at the drag strip next door. And the reason we're not doing it at the Freedom Factory is because I finally grew a pair I listened to you guys and we're actually doing a full aluminum bleacher makeover on the north side. We're not even doing wood, we're going straight to aluminum, which costs much more, but it also takes much longer. The bleachers won't be done until probably around Christmas time. So unfortunately, we can't have any spectators in the Freedom Factory. So what we're gonna do is at Cletus and Cars the following weekend, if you come to that event, we are doing a walkthrough on Saturday of the Freedom Factory so everyone can walk the track, check it out for the first time ever, and then we will meet our goals of having some of you guys get to meet the Freedom Factory before the end of the year. But the plan is, with all the bleachers being done at the end of the year, 2021, we're going at it strong. We'll be having these pay-per-views, but with a live audience, because honestly, that would make it 10 times better to have a real crowd offering real emotion to add to the pay-per-views. But listen guys, hit us with your comments hit us with what you think what can we do to make this better got ideas for the race format great got ideas for anything great drop them in the comments below we'd love to hear them I'm so excited for the 2.4 hours of the molds presented by silver racing equipment don't forget to use that promo code cletus when you check out some racing equipment get a free lane mullets pass but that's it guys i'm so pumped up and shout out to all these drivers who are joining us this is going to be incredible that's it for now guys have a great night